private investigator Scott Ross trying to unlock a mystery. Why would one man $495 price tag have weapons like this? Clip holsters. Holsters, gun locks, cleaners, casings. It's just one box. And there are hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. That's an understatement. Police seized 1,200 firearms in this upscale Pacific Palisades townhome. That's right, 1,200 pristine new guns, some with the tags still on them. Officers also found nearly seven tons, yes, tons of ammunition, the largest weapon seizure from one home that the LAPD recalls. And they basically had a, uh, an assembly line where they passed them from one to another into the truck until the truck was filled with guns and ammo. And we had to go bring back another truck. That's not all police found. Piles of cash, $230,000. As to what he planned to do with it all, we may never know. That's because Jeffrey Allen Lash, age 60, was found in this SUV just outside his condo, decomposing there for more than two weeks. Lash's life, intensely private, became public when his fiance uh, called uh, lawyer Harlan uh, Braun. I just assumed that she was a crazy lady who was coming up with some bizarre story. The story as she told it, Lash worked for multiple secret government spy agencies. He collected weapons. Lash also suffered from cancer. And as it turns out, his fiance is the one who helped him into the car, putting a blanket over his body. When he died, Lash promised his fiance his quote, people would take care of everything taking away his body and his guns. She believed him? Absolutely. For 17 years, she believed him. Uh, probably very intelligent, uh, very manipulative person. Or maybe it's actually true. Maybe she believed what was true. He wasn't a drug dealer. He wasn't a survivalist. Uh, he wasn't a, a gun merchant. Uh, it's inexplicable at this time. One of the many mystifying parts for investigators, Lash appeared to have no income, no job, no criminal record, no family. But you can't just dismiss him as a hoarder because he amassed a weapons collection worth millions. So who is Jeffrey Allen Lash? Just a nice ordinary guy with a fascination for weapons. That may be, but even Lash's own attorney of 30 years can't explain where he got all the money. We never spoke about what he did for a living, and that's because I had the impression he didn't do anything for a living. I cannot believe this. It's worse than a Twilight Zone movie, and we've lived through hell. The mother of a missing Oxnard woman, Dawn Ved Bunker, believes that her daughter is in the middle of a mysterious death investigation tonight and may be having a mental breakdown. This past week, police found a man's decomposing body in an SUV parked in the Palisades. And at a townhouse down the street, they found hundreds of guns and tons of ammunition. Well, it turns out that the dead man's fiancée, Catherine Nebron, is Dawn Ved Bunker's boss. And the two women were with the man when he died. But they never reported the death because they believed he was a secret agent, but with a twist. He was part alien and part human. And he was out to save the world, and he was higher than the CIA, and that every time we were there, that we were being watched. And the women apparently believed that alien or CIA operatives would collect the man's body while they went to Oregon. It was craziness that was totally nuts. Harlan Braun is the fiancé's attorney and is shocked by what was discovered at the Palisades home. We found a lot of cash. We found guns. We found, uh, you know, stuff that could be used for snipers. There are cars that were modified for, you know, desert travel. Uh, he could have been working for anyone. It's hard to imagine, however, that it's a total figment of imagination because there was so much money involved. There's almost five million dollars worth of guns that were were taken by the police. The police also uncovered six and a half tons of ammunition at the one condo in the Palisades. Laura Ved Bunker isn't quite sure why her daughter believes the alien secret agent story, but she wants her to come home now and get some help. That daughter, Dawn Van Bunker, who is 39, by the way, has yet to contact her parents or, or her two teenage daughters and may still actually be up in Oregon. Meanwhile, the dead man identified tonight as Jeff Lash has other storage units that are still unopened. No telling what they may find in there.